Welcome to our channel Storm Rider. The USS Delbert D. Black, designated DDG-119, is one of the most advanced destroyers in the United States Navy, belonging to the Arleigh Burke class. Named after Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy Delbert D. Black, the first man to hold that position, this warship represents a blend of cutting-edge technology, powerful combat systems, and a strong tribute to the history and values of the Navy. When talking about modern naval warfare, the Delbert D. Black stands out as a prime example of how the Navy continues to evolve, maintaining dominance at sea while integrating new levels of efficiency and survivability. Built by Huntington Ingalls Industries, the ship was commissioned in September 2020, making it one of the newer additions to the fleet. It is designed not only to conduct offensive operations but also to protect other vessels, respond to threats from the air, land, sea, and even cyberspace, embodying the Navy's concept of a multi-mission combatant. At its core, the Delbert D. Black is powered by four General Electric LM2500 gas turbines, giving it an impressive 100,000 shaft horsepower. That kind of power allows the ship to move at speeds over 30 knots, which is more than 34 miles per hour. While that may not sound like much compared to a car, for a vessel weighing nearly 9,500 tons, it is a remarkable speed that allows it to maneuver quickly across the ocean. The ship has an endurance of about 4,400 nautical miles at a cruising speed of 20 knots, giving it the ability to operate across the world's oceans without constant refueling. In simpler terms, this destroyer is not only fast but also capable of traveling long distances, ensuring the Navy can project power far from American shores. One of the most defining aspects of the Delbert D. Black is its Aegis combat system, a highly sophisticated integrated weapons and sensor platform that allows the ship to track and engage multiple threats simultaneously. Equipped with the AN-SPY-1D-V phased array radar, it can monitor hundreds of targets at once, whether those threats come from aircraft, drones, ballistic missiles, or surface ships. This radar works in tandem with the ship's Vertical Launching System, or VLS, which consists of 96 missile cells. These cells can be loaded with a wide variety of weapons, including standard missiles for air defense, Tomahawk cruise missiles for long-range land strikes, and even anti-submarine rockets. This flexibility makes the ship a jack-of-all-trades, capable of switching roles depending on the mission requirements. For closer range defense, the destroyer carries the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, also known as CIWS, which is essentially a rapid-firing Gatling gun designed to shoot down incoming missiles or aircraft at short range. It looks like a robot turret and is often described as the last line of defense for naval ships. Alongside that, the ship also has torpedo tubes for anti-submarine warfare and various machine guns to counter small boat threats. This layered defense structure ensures that no matter what kind of danger approaches, whether from the air, beneath the waves, or on the surface, the Delbert D. Black has a way to respond. Design-wise, the ship follows the Flight IIA variant of the Arleigh Burke class. This version is slightly larger than earlier iterations, allowing the inclusion of a helicopter hangar. That means it can operate and house two MH-60R Seahawk helicopters, which greatly extend its reach in anti-submarine warfare, surveillance, and search and rescue operations. The presence of helicopters is a major advantage, as they can hunt submarines, deploy sonar buoys, launch torpedoes, and even carry out special missions that the ship itself cannot. The ship's design also emphasizes stealth to some extent, with an angled superstructure and reduced radar cross-section compared to older warships. While not invisible to radar, it is harder to detect than many previous destroyers. Inside, the ship is designed with crew efficiency in mind. With a complement of about 300 sailors, it operates with fewer personnel than ships of similar size from older generations, thanks to automation and improved systems. This reduction in manpower does not compromise capability but rather streamlines operations, making the ship more efficient and cost-effective over its service life. The Navy has also taken steps to improve living conditions, with better accommodations, recreational areas, and facilities that make long deployments more manageable for the crew. The unique selling point of the Delbert D. Black, and ships of its class, is their ability to adapt. In an age where threats are constantly evolving, from hypersonic missiles to cyber warfare, flexibility is critical. The ship is not locked into one role. 
It can defend a carrier strike group, patrol independently, enforce maritime security, launch precision strikes on land-based targets, and hunt submarines in deep ocean waters. In essence, it is like having multiple ships packed into one platform. Its relevance extends into the future because it is designed to be upgraded. The Navy regularly updates the Aegis combat system with new software, adds improved sensors, and incorporates next-generation missiles, meaning that a ship commissioned in 2020 will not be obsolete in 2030 or 2040. One notable aspect that sets the USS Delbert D. Black apart is its namesake. Delbert D. Black was the very first Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, a position created to represent the interests of enlisted sailors and give them a voice at the highest levels of leadership. Naming the ship after him serves as a tribute to the contributions of enlisted personnel, reminding everyone that the Navy's strength lies not just in technology and firepower but also in the dedication and professionalism of its people. This connection gives the ship a symbolic weight beyond its combat power, reinforcing the Navy's identity and values. In terms of survivability, the ship incorporates numerous redundancies and damage control features. Compartments are designed to be sealed off to contain flooding or fire, and vital systems are often duplicated so that if one is knocked out, another can take over. The hull is built with durability in mind, ensuring the ship can continue fighting even after sustaining damage. This emphasis on toughness is part of the Burke DNA, as ships of this class are known for their resilience. For a broader audience, perhaps the best way to think about the USS Delbert D. Black is as a floating city with the capabilities of a fortress and the speed of a racing yacht, all wrapped in advanced electronics. It is not the largest ship in the Navy, but it is one of the most versatile and lethal. Each system on board is carefully integrated to support the others, creating a warship that can respond rapidly to almost any scenario at sea. For the United States, it ensures global presence and the ability to deter or defeat potential adversaries. For allies, it represents reassurance, a symbol that the U.S. Navy remains capable and committed to maintaining maritime security. In conclusion, the USS Delbert D. Black DDG-119 is a remarkable warship that showcases the Navy's technological progress and operational philosophy. It combines speed, power, adaptability, and resilience into a single platform, making it one of the most effective tools of naval power in the modern era. Whether viewed from a technical perspective, engines, radars, missiles, or from a broader lens of strategy and Symbolism, the ship stands as a testament to naval engineering and the enduring importance of sea power. It honors the past by carrying the name of an enlisted leader, and it points to the future by embodying the next generation of multi-mission destroyers. For anyone interested in naval technology, maritime defense, or simply the impressive capabilities of modern engineering, the USS Delbert D. Black is a ship worth learning about, and one that will continue to play a key role in America's defense for decades to come.